O oh, my dearest mother, I am not well. Please send for the doctor to see me. Please send for the doctor to see me. Because I will die and be forever lost. I have loved mother, I have loved. And bitterly I have regretted it. And bitterly I have regretted it. Oh my mother dear, I never listened to you. Not the F word. You can use the C word. Well, God knows actually what you made your entry through. Oh, right, don't. Right? Yeah, well, didn't don't I say? Don't use the F word. Read my lips, Alex. <laughs> I'm going to have to get you electrocution lessons if you can't learn to say can't properly. Oh. Oh shit, I hope it's not a poor old building in here. Hey boys, do you know which time the next tram's going through? What? Oh, I didn't bell short fart. Do you know when the next tram's going through? <laughs> what? You dropped your cheek before I'd finish. Ah, cheeky boy. Could you recommend a decent sound? Hey, isn't that your friend? Alex. Hey, Lexi, how about a game of cards? Oh, piss off, Dizzy. Anything you'll ever play is old maid. Oh, don't be bitchy. I don't want to be a bitchy queen or anything, but Alex is a bit of a weirdo. He's a bit different. Well, we do have a lovely Caesar salad. And there's rumours. A Caesar salad? Uh, what's in a Caesar salad? What kind of rumours? Well, don't say anything. No, no, no. Hey. What do you reckon, Diz? How's this for a head, hey? Uh, no, mate. Apparently. His room is completely decked out to look like a prison cell. <sighs> Potatoes, crouton, egg? Oh, egg? I'm not really into egg. I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry. I had a band rehearsal. Then we got caught up at the pub. Got so shit, guys. To be perfectly honest, I don't really care for it at all. Oh, he's just simple, you know. He lives at home with his mum. He doesn't do drugs. No, you're joking. No. Well, um, we do have a traditional Greek salad. Damned Mediterranean. Oh, far too ethnic for me. And when I asked him why, he goes, Oh, the top dog told me to do it. So, uh, some spiced olives with some bread. Hmm. Word is, he talks to her at night. Oh, yeah, right. Hmm. Hey, uh, so you've been promoted to coffee machine? Oh, yeah. Only top dog gets to operate the coffee machine. Oh, hey. He's psycho. How are the spiced olives, Mrs. Gelding? Splendid. There is nothing more pleasurable than the tang of an olive. Uh, would you like a coffee? Macaulay. Hi, Mum. Hi, darling. What are you cooking? Nah. Mind your own business. What is it? Oh, some of that Japanese one. You know how I love Japanese things. Cool. Nah. Mum used to act in TV shows when she was younger. And I used to watch her all the time when I was a kid. And in 1997, when they started repeating one of the shows, I watched her even more. Did you get anything from work? What do you mean? Did you pinch anything? By that stage, Mum had gotten older. But she kept getting sick all the time. Doctors kept telling her that she had this real shit disease. Something was wrong with her blood. That is not a turn up. What is it? You go to your room, look in your little vegetable identification book, oh. and don't come back until you can tell me. I thought you knew everything about roots. Whoa, stop it. Go to your room. Don't come back until you can tell me what you've got in your hand. Root vegetables. You're gonna get a damn good spanking tonight, my boy. At the Tin Pot Cafe where I worked, I'd sometimes go into the cool room and steal bits of food for mum. She really appreciated it. It was a pretty boring job there. So every now and then I'd put on different characters and personas to relieve the boredom. Made the day go by quicker. Excuse me. 
I'm not particularly happy with this food. What's wrong with it? Oh, seems rather wonky. I don't like it at all. Oh, really? Maybe you thought that I could uh, straighten it out for you, right? Oh, wrong. I simply want you to get me another one. I couldn't possibly dine with such a thwarted utensil. Out! Give this to Mrs. Gilding immediately. I know, I know. She's a bad ass. She's a pompous idiot. Okay, she's got a plum in her Plum? They threw in the whole bloody tree. Just give it a go. Stop, will you? Get to it. There you go, Mrs. Gelding. Wrap your gums around that one, love. My mate Dizzy was pretty debauched and had no morals. Early in the year, I got him an interview with our boss, Baz. Dizzy had no experience working in a cafe, but he still got the job. He was always evasive about how he did. Dizzy, is it? Yes. Ever worked in a kitchen before? Uh, no. But, uh, I have been told I'm quite, um, adaptable. There was this waitress there called Poppy. I had a crush on her. Thought she was a spunk. I asked her out once, and she just told me to get fucked and punch me in the back. She kept trying to take over the coffee machine. Ever since then, we were arch enemies. All right, uh, flat white, two cappuccinos, hot chocolate with marshmallow. Okay, sure. Oh, and Alex, can you squeeze me an orange juice? I'm thirsty. All right, but you'll just have to wait for five minutes, okay? Alex, I'm dying first. Hurry up. She was a real freak. She always used to hide behind the counter and put oranges underneath her gums. What the hell are you? Mm. Oh, you're off. Mm. <laughs> Brace lame casserole. Thank you. Alex, finish the coffees, will you? I'll take this to Mrs. Gelding. There you go, Mrs. Gelding. Oh, thank you, child. Oh, that looks awfully succulent. Bon appetit. Right, I want one latte, two cappuccinos, two hot chocolates, one with skinny and one caramel. Okay. Oh, and Alex, mm -hmm. make sure your cappuccinos are frothy. Your head's pathetic. Poppy, look, I, I, look, I, I really am. I'm doing my best, oh, okay? like hell, Alex. Look, I don't want to have to explain myself to the customers because of your incompetence. Now, if you don't improve, I'll have to speak to Baz. And you know what that means, don't you? You'll end up back in the kitchen, where you belong. You can't do that. Watch me. That's lagging. You know what happens to laggers, don't you? What are you going to do, Poof? Hit me with your handbag? All right. Now, this is hot boiling milk, sweetheart. You know what it does? It burns the skin. Third degree. One latte, two cappuccinos, two hot chocolates, one with skinny, one chamomile, and plenty of froth. Hey, Stapleton. Yeah? Get yourself over here, will you? I'll uh, show you how to use the press. There you go. What you got to do is you got to smooth it out a bit. Make sure there's no wrinkles in the cloth. Hey, that's right. Good girl. Oh, oh stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Poppy? I must have slipped. Got greasy fingers, haven't I? <laughs> Excuse me. Are you ethnic boy? Effeminate ethnic boy.
Yeah. This casserole is too salty. Oh, really? Yes, it, it, it makes my mouth ulcers irritate. Making your gums bleed, is it, love? What kind of an establishment is this? I shall write a letter to the Consumer Protection Authority and recommend an immediate closure. Well, casserole couldn't have been that bad. I mean, we've already gobbled half of it down, you chooky neck. A replacement! There's no need for that. Maybe I could uh, just tiz it up for you a bit, eh? Oh! Oh! There you go. It's nice. How dare you! I am an habitual of this establishment. I'm Mrs. Gelding. Where? Well, you might be gelding out there, but in here you're nobody. Okay? Now eat it. Eat it, screw lover. I said, eat it. It's revolting. Mm. I can't. No. Open your mouth. No. Eat it. Eat it. Come on. That's a good gelding. Come on. Eat it. Eat it all. Eat it, pig. Screw lover. Come on. Oh my God. It's all good for you. Well, what's happened to Mrs. Gelding? She's a very important customer. Oh, all right, all right. Don't get your little balls in a knot. You don't understand how important she is. Oh, big deal. The silly cow spilled salt all over her dindins, that's all. No need for a hissy fit. Well, well I, I hope you look after her, that's all. Oh, of course I looked after her, Baz. Don't worry. I just gave her a little taste of uh, tin pot hospitality. Oh, don't, don't worry, Baz. She'll be back. Their sort can't keep out of this place. Every Thursday night a bunch of us would all meet up at this terrace house on Alexander Parade and get drunk before we went to a night called Q&A at the Builder's Arms. The house was always filled with drunks and oddballs and thirsty queers and alternatives. I like the chicken even better. <laughs> so we go to this nightclub. I was standing out the front, and waiting, waiting, waiting. And then <clears throat> we get to the door and <clears throat> the bouncer doesn't even ID me. We were then, young. Yeah, that's what I call living. Yeah. We were beautiful. <laughs> and we were poor. <laughs> oh. Oh. So are there any cute alternative boys here for you tonight, Tristan? Here? You've got to be kidding. I've eaten fish better looking than some of these guys. A Q&A, me and Tristan would get there before 9 o'clock to avoid the queue that went all the way down Gertrude Street and would sit at the bar and pollute our lungs with cigarettes and rape our bloodstream with beer. Tristan would make a stand near the entrance to say he could make a bitchy remark about every single person that walked into the joint. Have you met Sam? Oh, hi. Sam Alex. And when we ran out of money, Dizzy and I would run around the place stealing other people's drinks and cigarettes while Tristan all other people's boyfriends. Every Friday night, me and Mum would sit at this tram stop in Carlton and watch people getting on and off the trams. And Mum used to like to scream obscenities at all the passers-by. And occasionally, Mum used to see people from the old days, when she used to act in plays in the old Carlton theatres in the 1970s. She'd put on different characters and talk to people in different accents. You want butterfly steak? I get you butterfly steak. There <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on, fuck away. Look, you don't even understand. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, am I embarrassing you, my darling baby boy? Oh, what are you staring at? No, we're just camping out, darling. We're zeros. Keep there. Where you go? Bye. Don't give up your day job. Is that a smile? Stop off. Change your number. You want a girl? 
I do. She really loved doing this. Oh, isn't it? There's nowhere else for her to perform now. No no more old theatres in Colton anymore. Oi, give us a lift. Don't give us a bloody wave, mate. Chuck a spaz. <laughs> Shit, all I've got left the bloody carrots. He wouldn't have it. He wouldn't. He wouldn't come at that. Put that away, mate. What do you mean, put it away? Why? Oh, is it too small for you, darling? Put that away. Put your bags away. Oh! Jam my hand in my bloody case. <laughs> Was that a smile? Was that a smile? <laughs> <laughs> On Saturday nights, I used to catch a train from Collingwood Station to a club called Uranus. There was a drag queen there called Miss Chrissy. And she used to mime to divinal songs. I'd always look at her, wonder where she came from, where she slept at night, and what she did on Christmas Day. My mate Dizzy, he got really trashed one night at a club in Pashta. He reckoned that her breath stunk like old milk cartons. What do you think you're looking at? Nothing. Yeah? You want to make something of it, eh? Uh-huh. Hey, Frankie. I reckon he might be a bit of a poof. What do you just reckon? Yeah. yeah. Fucking faggot. Dirty little pillow biter. Shouldn't you be at home? Biting your pillow? Is that uh, it? Uh-uh-uh. Hey? Don't you go anywhere. Don't go you go anywhere. Go anywhere. There's nowhere to go, baby. Yeah, with us. Just us, baby. Rack off. Have a drink. Have a drink. Hey, Poop, have a fucking drink. Show us how fucking tough you are, is that it? He's a bit bloody huh? tough, isn't he? Show us how tough you are. Come on, then show us how fucking tough you are. Come, Come on, on, pretty boy. Faggot. Come on, show us how tough you are then. Come on. Come on, let's see it. Let's see what you got. Sometimes I can be a hell of a lot tougher. Ooh, darling. Get him! Where do you think you're getting to, you little Show some fucking muscle now, eh? <laughs> Come on out here and fight like a real man. You're trying to call, trying to call mummy, are you? Trying to call <laughs> mummy, are you? Fucking help now, cunt. Get the fuck out here now. Come on. Get out here. Fucking Frankie, just break the shit out Broken my nose! Bastard! Alright, which one of you bastards is next? Come on, I'll fucking have this. Fucking idiot! Oh, look at you, you're as weak as Pommy Beer, aren't you? Oh, oh what you You tell that fat cow Frankie that I'm oh. running the show. Got it? What the fuck? He comes anywhere near me again, I'll break his bloody legs. Oh. You understand? What? Say yes. Yes! Yes, top dog. Yes, top dog! Oh. I'm top dog. Now rack off. Oh. You're bloody lucky you didn't give any bruises. I got a, I got a club to get to after this. Rack off!
That morning on the radio, I heard that some princess had been killed in a car accident. I thought it was Stephanie. Or maybe even Caroline. But it wasn't. And while I was being chased by those bogans, Dinah was being chased by the paparazzi. And suddenly it seemed that the whole world was mourning the death of Diana. Why didn't you tell me you were getting sick again? I'm going to have a transplant. <laughs> I've got my marrow stored up and, and, and I'm going to do something with the stem cells and transplant them. sick with leukaemia again. It seemed that nobody really cared anymore. Nobody except the angel of death who had a busy year knock, knock, knocking on everybody's door. When I used to cuddle up with mum, I noticed that she'd started to get that fat old woman smell. Mum hated that. She thought that a fat old woman smell was all pissy and sour. But it wasn't like that. It wasn't pissy and sour at all. It was nice. Nice and comforting. Got no genitals. Just a lump. Sexless. Call Chrissy and Buzzy. Please leave a messy. Talk to you soon. Hello, you've called Chrissy and Buzzy.
Zee, Play Slicker Missy. Hi, Shirley. Yes. Hi, I'm Carla. How are you feeling today? Sick. Right, I've brought a few different styles, so we'll um, try a few different ones on, see which ones that suit you, which ones you like. Okay? Okay. See, the nurse said that you had a big head. That's probably because I'm a pretty big woman. But it's actually quite small. Yeah, that's right. My son calls me. Pinhead. Oh, I never called you Pinhead. <laughs> no, you're not a Pinhead. So, um, is this your first time on chemo? No. I had leukaemia three years ago. So this is my second time in chemo. And you didn't wear a wig then? Yes, I wore a wig, but it seems to have gone walkabout somehow. Right, well, we'll try this one for starters. Have a little look, have a little play, see how we go, okay? Oh, play! Well, this one makes me feel like an old mole. Now I think we're getting somewhere. Do you like it, Mum? That's actually quite a popular one. It's very you. Put it in a bag. Oh, I like this one. Can I help you with anything? Clean this mess up. This sells a pigsty. Close your door on the way out, please. All right, you disgusting degenerates. Fraternisation with other perverts in a public place is a violation of rules and regulations. Public indecency is a class one misdemeanor. If it's been committed three times, it's considered a class six felony. You in there, what are you doing? I'm having me a pull. <laughs> yeah, what for? <laughs> Stay. It ain't human. <laughs> You're disgusting. <laughs> You're on a charge. <laughs> Let's 
Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. I need to check your ticket. Excuse me, sir. Your ticket. Um, yeah. Sorry. I need to check your ticket. There we go. This ticket hasn't been validated. What? You need to validate your ticket at the commencement of your journey. Sorry, I mean that machine didn't even give me back my change. I, I didn't know that. Failure to validate your ticket will incur a $150 fine. Oh, I, I really didn't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's no excuse. Now really, there's a lot of information about ticketing procedures. Now I need to take your name. Have you got any ID on you, please? Stand on the white line. What? I said stand on the white line, else I'll put you on a charge. What the hell are you talking about? Don't be impertinent. Any more cheek like that and you'll end up in solitary. Now do I make myself clear? My God, man, you've gone mad. Oh, ooh, I think I'll just add loss of privileges to that one, shall I? I wonder what the governor will have to say about your lax behaviour. Get out of this cell immediately. Otherwise I'll put you on a charge. I'll put you on report. You're on cleaning duties. Report to me straight after muster. Now you come back here. Hey. Oh no. You know, you're just another animal in the zoo, aren't you? Now wait a minute. No, you wait a minute. I said, you're on report. You can kiss goodbye that parole of yours too. You can't be speaking to me like this. Oh yeah, you're on report, darling. You are on report. <laughs> Lex, two more chinos. Oh God, Dizzy, for God's sakes. I'm sorry, man, but it's been cut out. I know. Hey, the floor is really, really busy at the moment. Shut up. I feel sick, all right? Oh, what's the matter? I've got the morning chunders. Accident, all right. I feel sick. I had to change. Now fuck off. Oh, did you cack yourself? Oh God, get out of my way. Oh, Alex. you did too, didn't you? Poor, you stink. Oh, God, I'm sick of your filth. Hey, look, your arm's bleeding. Shut up. No, seriously, Shut you're... up. No, your arm's. Oh my God. Don't tell me you are. You do, don't you? You tell anyone, and I will twist your balls so tight they shine in the dark. You got it? Disgusting. Two cappuccinos. Chunky. Next, I'm gonna chop off a little bit if you get a chance to check out those crates from the cool. Oh, yeah, cool. Thanks, love. Damn things have been there for weeks. Serious, it's locked. I was trapped in that call room. My face felt like it was twisting and turning. And strangely, I could hear tigers growling.
I was in this hallucinogenic state and I didn't know why. Why are you on the machine? Someone's got to do it. Where's Alex? I don't know. Slacking off. You go home. Look, I really don't know Baz. He went on a break. But that was ages ago. Look, last time I saw he was messing around in the cool room. Ask Lucy. I really don't know. Alex? What are you doing? <laughs> Alex? Uh, Alex? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lex, God, what's going on, mate? Where the bloody hell are you been? Oh, God, you're an evil woman. Hey, Lex, settle down, mate. Hey, Lex, what the bloody hell's going on? Baz gave me the big guy. What? She doped me dizzy. She set me up. What do you want me to do, mate? Do you want me to get her? Oh, God knows what the hell I'm going to tell Mum. She'll chuck a spaz if I tell her I've been axed. All right, mate. Well, look, don't ride home, man, because it takes a little while to come down, all right? The hell am I going to tell Mum? Well, look, just, just go lie down in your room and, and, and put some nice coming down music on. You'll be fine. Just don't fight it. Hey, and whatever you do, don't masturbate. Oh my God, my head feels like it's made out of cellophane. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Dizzy, she set me up. Look, look. I'm not going to take the rap for that, 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 that junkie. Just, just leave her with me, will you? Will you do that? I'll, um, no. I'll fix her up. Don't you worry about it. Hey, remember, don't you masturbate. Don't you have a pull now. Uh, two lemonades, <clears throat> uh, cappuccino and a macchiata. Jesse. All right, uh, Senora. Yeah, I, I, I'm not good. I have a chest uh, crash. 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 Oh, crash. Chest, yeah, 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 I get yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, awful. it's not good. Mm. You have anything mm. to eat? Yeah, I eat some soup. My sister will bring you some oh, good yes, soup. Oh, your sister will yeah, bring you yeah, it's very good. You, yeah. you like Senora soup? No, yeah, I'd like Senora soup, not oh. the hospital. No, no, nah, nah, nah. the hospital. Yeah, nah, Next please. time your sister in law comes in, mm. yeah, give some bring some soup uh, for me. Yes, I give Por it to you. Favor. Oh, very, right? very good. Uh, yeah. You know, my mad Mate son Alex, mm. he bring me something to yeah. eat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The pizza. It's pizza. Mm. It's chewing gum. Chewing gum, hey, yeah, it's yeah, very nice Italian pizza. Yeah, Italian pizza, mm, yeah. Very good. Not that muck you get no, ring no, up, take no, away. No, 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 yeah. Italia. Italia, oh. yeah. Very be nice good. to be able to taste your food yeah, maybe again. Yes, yes, very good. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Kill for, I'd kill to be able to taste some decent food. Oh, yes. Yeah. You taste it, right? yeah. Your sister's yeah. soup? Yes, very good oh. soup, yeah. I reckon very I can good. smell it from my room. <laughs> good, good Italian. Yeah. Oh, that's not hospital. No, you. no, no. Picture this. You are on a choo-choo train. 
chugging along, chugging along, and at the end of that track is a rainbow. And at the end of that rainbow is happiness, and you will find your happiness there. So you just keep chugging along, choo choo, chugging along. And once you hit the end of that track, and at the end of that rainbow, you will find your happiness. So what's a crowd like it? I don't know really, they're a strange crowd though. There's a flock of faggots in one corner, and of course in the bars, the little lesbians. Any familiar faggots? Well, actually, yes. There's Carson and guys right there, and guess what I found out about those guys? What? They're rent boys. Now, what's the sound like? The there? sound is perfect. Don't worry about the well, sound they this week. It up last week. I know they fucked it up last week, but it's perfect this week. Would you Believe it. Ah, uh, love me, love me. Come on. Now you better They're hurry up. Bloody fuck it up this week. You better hurry up and finish that pizza of yours because ultimately Nathan's going to be finished in another five minutes. So you better guzzle it and hurry up, you old buzzard. What happened to all the pizza? I hate it. Come on, chop chop, hurry up. Come on, stop drinking like a chicken, you got a minute to go. Chop chop, move it. Ladies and gentlemen, bacon and eggs, put your hands together for Miss Christy. Lex, it's dizzy, mate. Yeah, what are you doing? I look, anyway, mate, I, I can't talk long. Listen, I looked through a bag. I looked through Poppy's bag. Oh, mate, she's got a shitload of drugs in there. East trip, smack, you name it, whatever. <laughs> well, I don't know, it's, uh, it's probably about 9, 9.30, why? Alright, cool. I'll see you then, mate. See ya. How are you, Diz? Oh, fine, mate. I'm fine. Me too. So, if it isn't the dope pusher. Hello, Alex. What are you doing here? Thought Baz told you to keep away. Oh, no. Not while you're still here, you little bitch. Keep it, Dizzy. Look, Alex, I didn't spike your orange juice or whatever you think I did. Oh, really? It's not what I heard, is it, Diz? Oh, yeah. She spiked her right next. She's got a shitload of drugs in her bag right now. Oh, you sickly little pervert. Oh, come on, titties, Poppy. Now what are you gonna do? <gasps> look, Alex, it's just a joke. It was just a bit of acid. Oh, just a bit of acid. Oh, look, how did I know you take to it like that? Listen, if I wanted acid, I would have bloody well asked for it. Look, I thought you'd enjoy it. Everyone else does. Shut up. Shut up. I hate your voice. You know the problem with you, you bitches! <laughs> Oh, you want to play it rough, do you, huh? You want me to call the cops, Lynx? No, don't worry, Diz. This little mole's just trying to sharpen its claws. Better watch out, fucker, or you'll get scratched. Oh, listen to that, Diz. So much for a bourgeois morality. Little poppy spitting her scenes, Lexi. Fucking bet I am. Ooh, you <laughs> filthy little <laughs> slut!
I finally got a hold of Baz on the phone. He came and got us. We took Dizzy to the hospital. He had a gash across his guts. But he didn't need stitches. He was okay. This year anyway. And as for Poppy, she just turned up for work the next day. Cool as a cucumber. As though nothing had ever happened. Hi, can I take your order, please? Dizzy and I would spend hours attempting to analyse the various emotions. We tried to understand the various characters that we put on. It was all a game. But understanding them... It was like putting together a jigsaw puzzle with no pieces. Or casting a TV show with no characters. And you know it was only eight years later when an express train on the Belgrave line did to Dizzy what Poppy couldn't. Hello, my name is Chad and you must come to one of my sessions. Oh, you must come to one of my classes. It's all about change. It's all about being positive and changing for the better. Now say it with me now. Change is fantastic. Say it. Change is fantastic. Now say it with me now again. Change is fabulous. Change is fantastic. Say it. Change you got mama's eyes all right. Blood shot. Lift your soul and work with me here. Break out of those chains. Break out of those boundaries. How long are you going to sit there and let people imprison you? Who cares what people think? Who cares? Who cares? Play. Break out into the spotlight and dance. Take a risk. Take a chance. Lift your head and scream to the universe. Lift your arms. Lift your face. Let the world see and smile and say, I want to change my life. And change is a great thing. Change is a positive. Change is a joyous thing. Say that. Change is a joyous thing. Say it. Change is fabulous. Change is a great thing. Change is a positive. Say it. Change your attitude towards change. You'll be alright, Buzzy. So will I. I love you very much and I support you. Believe in change. Be brilliant and change. This is what my sessions are all about. And I hope and pray. I hope that I can be of some service to you. And anyway, I couldn't find the pink stuff because I don't even know which one you mean. Which one? It's on the top cabinet shelf with all the other creams. Mum, but I looked at all your creams and I can't find any pink stuff. Anyway, what do you want it for? For me boob. What's wrong with it? Oh, I've got this rash under me boobs and it itches, it stings. That's what they gave us for tea last night. What? I wrote on the thing that I was sorry, I'm getting puffy. It's alright. Just... <coughs> it's alright, you should be taking smaller steps anyway. No, Don't walk no. as fast. You just... I, know. I just. It's my first time out. Okay. Let's go. It's all right. I'm going to run and skip. 
You will, you will. Well, I will tomorrow. As soon as I get home. <coughs> anyway, it, I ordered, the, I wrote on the thing that I wanted. Plain, deep fried, pan fried cheese sandwich. What do you think I got? Ham sandwich? I don't know, it could have been anything. It was just battered up and the bloody cheese wasn't even melted. It was a whole thing. Well, I wouldn't have been able to taste it, but at least I want some texture. Well, no worry, Mum, when you get out tomorrow, I'll, uh, I'll cook you up whatever you want. I'll even make you some of that Japanese muck that you're always going on about. Oh. You like that? Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll even make you a chocolate crackle if you want. <laughs> yeah. rather have a meringue it's all soft inside. Anyway, I just want the pink ointment for me boobs. Ooh. Bugger your chocolate crackle. Well, uh, if you insist. Alex. Come on. Let's walk back to the hospital. Come on. I wanted to go up. No, you can't. You're getting too puffy. Come on. Better than being too puffy like some people. Oh, God. Don't you, oh, don't you take oh. the Lord's name. Oh, stop it. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to give you such a spanking when I, as soon as I'm well enough. Baldy skull scone, yeah? I'll do Japanese you. Will you? Yeah. Yeah, well, I have a yen. <laughs> oh, you have a yen, and I have a ying, and you have so a yang. And yang, 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 Come on. Oh, you need your medication. Aren't those lovely pants? You just want another night out on the town before you have to look after your dear old mum again. Next. 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 So what would you like? Kalua and Neil. You know, you're damn lucky we never called the cops and did that oh, night. Oh man, mate, I know you wouldn't have done that, Alex, I know you. No, I wouldn't have. You want to know why? Because I don't lag, Stapleton. Alex, mate, get over it. Look, this is my friend Zara. G'day, Zara. Thank goodness. Alex, come out with us, have fun, please. Alex. Crap. Alex! You're crap. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Been here before? A couple of times. Doing it full on journey. Eh? Yeah, I'm, I'm from down the coast, down Germana. Just came here to see what it's all about. My name's Warren, mate. Alex. Can we get you a drink? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd love one. Warren. Yeah, we'll get two beers, mate. Beers? Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. So perfect in this world
say you're sleeping with anyone or anything like that? No. You've got to be joking. You? No, 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 mate. I've been married for a while. Oh, really? It's just run a separation since a few months back. Oh, okay. Shit. Yeah, that's awful. Yeah, she uh, left me for another woman. Oh, really? Yeah, a chick. You're joking. She another reckons, bird? Yeah, she reckons she's a bisexual now. Yeah, right. She go, she comes out and meets chicks now. I don't know if they can do it. I personally don't know how they can do it. Yeah. But they do. You don't know anything about them bisexuals, do you? <laughs> can I... I don't know, can I borrow another one of another one of your cigarettes? Yeah, get that one. Yeah, cool. Yeah. It's your last one. Mm. Is that right? She just up and left me, mate. Mm. So I've come here tonight to find out what it's all about. Suss it out. Just sussing it out. She just left me. I suppose you're a pretty good looking bloke, but eh? No. Oh. Been married for eight years, mate. Some cake, love. It was Ruth's birthday, Buzzy. Anyone call for me, sweetie? Hmm? Hi, Chrissy. Now listen up, doll. I might party on the 25th, okay? Now you just get your bacon down there, okay? It's gonna be a real cack. I said a real cack. And remember, come as Chrissy. Hello. Hi, girl, it's Siobhan. Just calling to check if you're still up for the 27th, and I found the most amazing purple jumpsuit today at Hunter and Gatherer. It's so you. It'll be perfect with that Abigail wig. All right, hun, speak to you soon. Bye. You fucking slag, Chrissy. You fucked Ed last night. I know you did. Oh, you better not be going out to three faces tonight, because I'm going to fucking deflate those fake tits of yours and feed them to you and shove them up your fucking asshole. Hi, this is Narelle calling from Video Store. We've got a few titles still out in your name. They haven't been returned in the last three weeks. Monkey Grip, Starstruck and Puberty Blues. It'd be great if you could return them at your earliest convenience. Thank you. Hi, Chrissy. It's Belinda from Day Surgery. Very concerned about your appointment with us. Um, your hormone replacement.
How long have you been up? Since the crack. How about you? Where you been? I've been out. Out where? Out to have a good time. Dressed like that? <laughs> you look like a screw. <laughs> oh, Mum, I am a screw. Oh, Alex, you are a screw loose. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you go and have a look in a real prison? You know, I did a stretch in 72. It's no bloody Sunday school picnic. It's not just bloody dress ups. Mum, did you find that pink ointment? Yeah, it was in the bathroom cabinet. Why? How's your boob? Still a bit itchy. But the rash is clearing up. Huh? Come on, put it away. Will you just stop? Stop. Now you're just being a dirty Mine? old cow. Oh. Dirty old yes. cow? Move. Oh, come on, come inside. Mm. Come in. Come and look at my tits, you dirty old man next door. Dr. Fig said that you've got no immunity system. Do you want to get the shingles or something? You were really worried about that last night, weren't you? Well, you should have been in bed. Come on, what? come inside. Come on. Okay, you ready? Up. Ready? Oopsie. Oopsie daisy. There we go. All right, I'll hold on to me. How'd you even get out here? I'm the broomstick. How do you bloody think? Come on.
fantasy come true. I get it, Alex. I've had so many men. So many guys. Sam doesn't want me anymore. I'm gonna get him back, Alex. He has to love me. I just, I just don't know what to say when I see him, you know, and I don't know how to act when I'm around him. Look, all my friends here tonight, they reckon it takes like two years to get over a bloke. I can't wait that long. I want the pain to stop. The pain doesn't stop, Tristan. Just get used to it. That's all. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my What's happening? What are you doing? Woman. Are you okay? I'm just drive. Well, what's going on? Are you hurt? It's nothing, woman. Just, just drive. Yes, but I mean, what do you mean? Has someone hurt you? Have you been raped? Look, woman, just drive into Gippsland. Just drive. No, I can't. Well, just shut up and drive. <laughs> Do you want some money? I've got plenty of money here. Here, here, take I some don't money. I want any. What? What's your name? Lisa. What? Liza. Liza, hey. Liza the lizard. You ever touched a lizard, Liza? Uh, no. I'm afraid I haven't. Haven't what? Touched a lizard. Oh, what's the most disgusting thing you've ever touched then? I don't know. Who? Hey. Um. Well. Um. Years ago, when I left school, I went to work in a milk bar and I had to do these frothy milkshake things and, and it used to make me feel sick. And I spilt some and that felt slimy and pink and I hated it. You've um, got kangaroo skins on the back of your oh, yeah. seat. Well, and my husband and I were giving them as a gift. I helped an ex-student of mine get a good job and he was very grateful and he gave them to me as a gift. And I, I just put them on the back seat because I didn't know what to do with them. It's the most stupidest story I've ever heard. It happens to be true. I don't care if it's true. I don't care about you. I hate you. Ow! <laughs> I never did see Poppy again. Dizzy reckoned he saw her years later, on TV. She was auditioning for a reality pop star's TV show. Apparently she was really good too. But she didn't make the finals. You know, I never knew she could sing. Yeah, yes, hello. Um, I, I don't quite know how to tell you this, but this young woman, young lady, just stabbed me with the with the ball pin, and, and she's broke. I'm, I have to declare she's broken my skin. <laughs> Who are you, lovey? What do you want? Don't you think I want something? Everybody does. I've seen your face. I've been tearing at me out there. Okay, what gives? You're some kind of sexual predator? No, I just think we've got a lot in common, Chrissy. Yeah? So what's with that ridiculous uniform? <laughs> I'm an officer. <laughs> Ooh, la, la. And a gentleman? So officer. You here to arrest me or molest me? 
I ain't that kind of officer, Chrissy. What are you then, bloody kinky? Listen, you got a light, lovey? I'm gonna smoke this bastard. See, Chrissy? I take care of society's bad little girls. I keep them in mind. Understand? It's me. Make your time's up, creep. Get out for a cool security. Mm. I know. When the department starts seeing results, one day I'm going to be governor of this place. You hear me? Look at me. <laughs> Look at you. Well, I'll be buggered. Listen, kid. You want to play the role? you got to know where it's at, lovey. Here you are. We've got a lot in common. Do you know something, lovey? When I finally became Chrissy, nothing else mattered anymore. I could get whatever and whoever I wanted. I knew about pleasure and pain. Chrissy helped me forget. I could turn her on and off like a television. And was that easy, hey? Was it easy? Well, it used to be real cinchy. But now it's gotten harder, lovey. You see, whenever someone wants to root me, I hope it's me they want. Not Chrissy. And when Chrissy hurts someone, I try to feel something. But I can't. I must have been desperate. Must have been pretty low. It's a screw. What are you gonna do? Put me on a charge? Or throw me in the pan with those other slags? Chrissy, you've got five minutes, hon. Yeah, right, lovey. Well, I guess I'll be seeing you around. Not long after that, they stopped repeating Mum's TV shows. Nobody was interested in classic Australian drama anymore. Everybody was too busy watching reality TV. Alex. Yes, Mum. Look at the angel. What was that? Oh, what? The angel. <laughs> Not that angle. <laughs> There's a wide angle. <laughs> Yo. Where'd you get her from? Lucy gave it to me. Did she? Yeah, the bear's got a heart on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Orange look real good up there. Yeah, sometimes I wish I was an angel. Give me a set of wings and I'll fly away. Oh, jeez. Listen, darling. One thing you got to know. Before you can walk on the red carpet, you got to walk through a paddock full of shit. <laughs> Mm, yeah, mm, you're saying it, chill. I'm going back to get a nice palate cleansing little fizzy drink. Gimme. Gimme? Gimme. You like angels? Gimme, mummy. Ooh, kissy, Gimme, kissy. mummy. Kissy, kissy. Oh, teddy, fun. Teddy want to get in, Angie Wangie, Nicky Wicky. <laughs> Mum always loved Christmas because she said that it brought people together. And every Christmas she'd get really wasted and drink herself stupid. Just in case it was the last. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> Cracker night. <laughs> Guy fucks night. <laughs> but for me that Christmas, <laughs> reality had reared its ugly head. The stars in my eyes faded. Just like last year's Logie Award nominees. I can't make 
make any sense So how does it feel? I'm just a skeleton And you're just a meal Amalgamated bodies in foreign beds There's nothing to say My love was dead long ago So much your eyes wanna see. You got to take a good look around. Cause I think you know. You could be looking at yourself in the future. Is this where you wanna go after the show? Going home. 